I remember that. So we're watching Ruby. It's volume uh, six in chapter two. Uh, since we've heard, we're running across issues with uh, chapter premiere. one, the premiere and everything like that, we might have to change how we edit this just so nothing bad happens. Okay, three, two, one, and play. All right, just a few seconds just to get a sync here for the audio. Question, do we want to skip the intro? Because I don't, I'm okay with it. But otherwise, it's just kind of whatever. It's like a Borto opening. This one, I'm okay with. That running is so weird. Yeah, it's it's very um, childish. Oh, kind of like hey. cartoonish. I know that game. Flitwick is dead. It's Neo. It has to be. It has to be Neo. Someone said... Uh, actually, I saw it like in a little bit of the opening. I'll even point it out when we get there. Huh? But... I think you see a little bit of Cinder in one of the shots, so I was like, oh, that might be her instead. You fucked up! Bad! <laughs> this is Cinder, because if you look closely at her left hand at points, it does look <laughs> so human, bless you. Thank you. It looks human? It looks less human. Ah. It looks kind of like whatever. Grimmy? Grimmy. <laughs> She's water. Oh. So, oh, so there was a bottom. God, oh, yeah, she was supposed to be dead. Now she was frozen. She was left to just fall for, I guess, ages. Bullshit, she's dead. Ought to be, right? But she finally thawed out after two weeks. <laughs> Damn, dude. Frozen for two weeks? I mean, granted, like, Your Cat Rogers dead. <laughs> had it worse, but I'm so weak. You should be dead. Bullshit, the fall was yeah, that shallow. I know, right? I, I walk, defeated. I look like I wrestled with the pig. God, are you okay? Where did you... Uh-oh, what happens? Food. Give it here. I just want a apple. Is this more past Yes, this is flashback. Made in here to seal the relic back in its vault. It's our best option. The city of Argus is a ways north of us, and it's the primary trading port between Anima and Salathos. We've got the largest Atlas mole camp on the back side. It's a more lore, 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 lore. If we play our cards right, I think there's a good chance we could convince them to escort us straight to Ironwood. Glad to see you're feeling better. Likewise. Dude, you're 13. You shouldn't be limping. What does it do exactly? Crow never really told us. Well, actually, I didn't know about it either, so. <laughs> it kills. Of course. I'll tell you everything, Wink. Has a wonderful and incredibly dangerous ability. Oh, shit, it does grow and shrink. Any question, and the lamp will provide an answer. It's the all knowing lamp? Lamp cannot tell you of events that have yet to happen. And it will only ever answer three questions every 100 years. Nani the fuck? Well, let's put it to a vote! What do we ask first? Oh! Can we ask for more questions? Can we ask for more questions? I'm afraid you won't be able to ask it anything at the moment. The questions were used before I sealed it away. I'm glad they expanded on that a little bit. It expanded too. I'm just a little hard of hearing and blind without my eyes that are in desperate need of repair. Okay, I'm starting to see your point. <laughs> Yang, knock it off, will ya? If we lose our cool now, we'll just be inviting even more Grim. Does everything matter? Apparently, we've been attracting Grim since we left Haven. Oh, and how could I forget about that? What happens to no more lies and half-truths? Yeah. I think it's time we got an explanation. You put on slide suits. Well, you certainly didn't tell us everything about the relic. That's what I'm thinking. Now is not the time. No, we're past that. I want to know why Thank you're you. still not telling us everything. Me too. Fears of making it all the way only add anxiety and negativity. It seemed like the safer option. 
You know, I'm getting real tired of people choosing what's best for me. Is that why you chose to lie to everyone about Lionheart too? You may have met Professor Lionheart, but you never met the man who left the school for the Valley. You didn't. Look, we're supposed to be in this together. You can trust us. We're not going to turn our backs on you. How can I trust you? Leo was the first. Oh. E. And he didn't say those exact same words to me. It got scattered in the crash. Please. Hand it over. No, bitch. But you said it couldn't do anything right now. Why does it matter who carries it? Sure enough. I need you to listen to me. Oscar. Stop. Hurry. When he stops, he's just afraid. He finds out what he's hiding. Ooh, I called it. He bad. Just say something. Jim? What? What? Am I like right? Come back. No, Ru, don't do it. That's the last thing you should do. Dude, snow stopped. Yeah, um. So did wind. <clears throat> oh, yes! Says his fan shits. Oh, it's a good thing she doesn't have nipples, so it's totally fine. Wait. Okay. <sighs> I thought the episode was over. I was gonna get so mad. Oh, I guess you're right. I was saying, like, we're fucking, like, why is like, I was kind of hoping it was like, Neo. I was, yeah, I was kind of hoping that, you know, it wasn't her because, you know, she should be dead. And what was with the Flitwick hat? It might. I don't know. What if it's to mislead people? What if they were, we were doing, thinking exactly what they were wanting us to think? See, they're subverting expectation, and then there's an ass pool, which is, oh, yeah, there was water at the bottom of that completely pitch black pit of emptiness. I also did think that, like, it would go steeper than that, but, like, just looking at the fact that you can see the tree from up there. Not only that, below. you could clearly see the ground from where she was, which means if you were to look down from where they were, you'd be able to see the water. Oh, we got the spider clan. I am the spider. Are they like the foot clan? With spiders? I got money. Where'd you get this? Don't ask questions. I got mad cash, bro. You work for me. No, we don't. Okay. I'm Little Miss gonna skin you alive if you ever take that Oh, it's Little Miss Muffet. She sat on her tuffet. Then a spider came. I see. <laughs> More, f more nursery more rhymes and fairy tales. References. What do you want for me? That I'm still able to That's enough. Two questions this era. What the fuck, dude? What is Ozpin up to? Woof. Do whatever you think is right, kiddo. What is Ozpin up to? Right. Yes. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh shit! It's Oz. But shelter the lonely girl. Me. Salem. Oh. Oh shit! Episode ends. Seems like it. You know what? I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, I like how they use Ruby for scale. Yeah. However, bullshit, that was in there. It wasn't before. Especially if it wasn't that deep. Yeah. That shit was hyper shallow. Mm. Super shallow. Extremely shallow. Yep. I would say about mm, 200 feet-ish, maybe. Yeah. Still could see for all the way down there. Yeah. So it's With like, how bright that tree was, you'd be able to see the water reflecting if you were to look down. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's <laughs> cool. Oh my god, Gabe. What? <laughs> it's just relentless. Yes. Relentlessness. They give this show. Look, I'm, They've let me down. I'm just happy that they actually, like, <laughs> they started off the season, everything's fine. They're like, wait a minute. 
there's that thing about Oz, and then the second episode, they just threw the dart straight at the target. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Uh, they did one good thing. One good th- Okay, what's the count? 16 minutes? Yep, 16 minutes. Wait, where's the mouse? There it is. So it's about, like, less than 15 minutes, it would seem. The what's it called itself is six minutes shorter. I'm looking for something. I don't know what it is. A calculator? I'll just get paint. Okay. Just so I can write down the numbers. Anyway, if you want to discuss it while I do this. Okay, so I think they still do a pretty good job as far as, like, keeping the animation, like, just touched up. So as far as, like, movement and the look of it, it still looks good, mm-hmm. especially in comparison to Volume 5, which I thought was actually really good. But it just shows that they can definitely go beyond, and it makes me wonder... I mean, this is just early on this the um, volume, but what would volume seven look like? Is now I'm starting. This is what I'm starting to think about. But other than that, uh, as far as the story, uh, to be honest, I have this mindset that uh, Cinder's kind of like has been is it's just old news. Mm-hmm. But they clearly need to fill up the like the plot hole, which was what happened to Cinder. She died. End. She should have no. I figured that they would do like one of those like. Well, those ass pulls would be like, oh, I'll just come out of nowhere. Uh, but at the very least, they were like, oh, she survived. And now she's kind of wandering and now is after uh, Ruby and Co. For not just the uh, relic, but just their lives. Mm-hmm. Um, and then then we uh, cut back to the whole situation where they're, this is like after the train wreck. They're getting up and finally just finally and the thing is is that i I was thinking that this would be an episode just about maria like the old lady and Mm -hmm. we would see more about that no it wasn't at all yeah it had nothing to do with her right it was just about them confronting osman like there you gotta tell us more shit okay and it it got to a certain point where osman was like where's that relic and he was like it's right here obviously give it to me what the fuck it's 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 just a <laughs> but I'm also glad that they um we talked about earlier they uh well especially you you wanted them to kind of like open up the first episode with them actually like in that house kind of talking about like okay we're planning on leaving this and that yeah. and they actually filled it up in this episode yeah. I don't know ex- entirely why they would leave it for the second episode neither do I. Maybe it was just to link more about like the relic being the central thing about this episode because in chapter one here it it didn't matter at the at that point it was more over oh this is something to tell you that oh Grimm are attracted to it but otherwise that's it uh but whereas it would make sense that once they got the relic that they would ask more about it mm. and so they kind of tied those two like bits together so I can I can find some rationality in that. So, having seen, especially with Norb just being as fantastic as usual, about fantastic, about oh, dude, can we wish for more wishes? Okay. <laughs> she was totally on it, right? and I totally can cannot ask for more questions. Can we ask more questions? Yeah, she was on it though. Mm-hmm. All right. It is weird though. Like obviously they're. As they keep making more volumes and they look at back at some of the feedback they're receiving, uh, Ospin throughout like volumes one through five, for the most part, didn't have anything really to hide. He was just more of an ominous, mysterious like character who was just so happens to be a headmaster mm-hmm. and seemed to know more than he would lead on. And in this one, you see something really weird. I think it's mainly because of the fact that he's in a new body, so he has to work with Oscar. That's now kind of putting him slightly on edge and starting to show a lot more areas where he where he usually would cover up is now not able to because of Oscar. Especially with this point where it's like, yeah, I think we should know more about this. And Osman had to intervene, like Oh, especially now that we know that like Because he lied before. Like in I think in volume it should be volume five. Mm-hmm. That he was uh, Oscar was asking, like, can you take over at will? And he said, like, no. No, I can't. And at the end, he proceeds to do so. <laughs> and even, like, in the previous chapter where he says, like, 
uh, may I take over? And Oscar's like, no, I'll, no, I'll, I'll say, I'll, I'll keep this under control. In this chapter, he just so he decides to override it. <laughs> I wasn't lying. Jeez, it's just, yeah, it, it's it's tough, but I mm, I guess I'll have to see more about like the next chapter and therefore like more of his backstory to really understand what he means by like there are reasons behind why I do this and why I do that. Mm-hmm. Even though he, as much as he wants to trust humanity, he's also not willing to like put all hands or give them everything because he i think he brought up a pretty good example like with lionheart being not the first not the first person to say those words saying like can't you trust us and then immediately have this back turn and he put emphasis on like lionheart being um you know not always being like this that he was also courageous as well Mm -hmm. uh in his service with uh, under ospin but it was this last bit that really showed him that like he can't really come back from that but i think the biggest thing just so i don't go off rails on like other things generally but it's just it's nuts to see them actually confront ospin like so early on the volume yeah and it's good that they do that especially since like the opening uh also does that john straight up attacking him yeah but yeah, now they, they did one of those things where it's like, okay, here's it. Boom, Salem. And it's just, it's a totally like normal version of her. Mm-hmm. A not freaking Salem version of Salem. Right. So I'll give I'll give the episode that. It's it's good as far as just like just setting things up and creating that tension. Mm-hmm. They're able to do it with like the camera work and the music. So at that point, like when you see uh, Oscar and Ospin walking further ahead of everyone, and then when he turns around, you f- even if they don't really show the distance between them, you feel that distance. Especially like with the number of like Team Ruby like versus Ospin, and it was nuts too that at that point they no longer trusted Crow too. Yeah, they were like, uh, uh-uh. <laughs> we gonna do our own thing. I also wasn't expecting the lamp to actually be what it was for a fairy tale, which was just to... A genie of the lamp? Yeah. Damn, dude. Ospin just straight up just told them that lie that, nah, we've already used it. We good. Right. <laughs> straight lied to their face about mm-hmm. all of it. So, yeah. I I, I don't trust Ospin anymore. Dude, I haven't trusted him for a while. Mm. I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, if I had to rate this episode, I think I last time I gave it like the first one an eight as like a good opener. Mm. Uh, this one, and it's not because it has a, no action to it. I think I would put it at a seven because personally, I don't really care about Cinder. <laughs> yeah. Or or the Spider Tribe. Mm-hmm. But I really do like this tension they immediately build up after just having that train wreck and i guess i give it less points because they have maria and i'm so curious about like what she has to offer for ruby so her name was maria huh yeah maria (laughs) maria (laughs) shadow (laughs) jeez shut up (laughs) Shadow the Hedgehog. Do, 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 Can you, can you imagine like a fourth wall breaking where it's like, hey, Maria, did you know about Shadow being an assist trophy? Who? Oh, okay. Okay, so just, just double checking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you've been uh, doing some... Uh, I have. You've been doing some math. Mm-hmm. Uh, just about done writing this out. Uh, Are you sure you didn't want to just like hover it over here so we can maybe like screen record your process? These numbers around here pretty much mean a whole lot of nothing as is. It's once I explain the thing what I mean and kind of zoom into these ones though, you could see it a bit better. Okay. All right. So the total runtime of the first episode was roughly 22 and a half minutes. The second episode was 16 minutes and 48 seconds. 
Now, of that time, almost 20 minutes of it was the show in the first okay. episode. All right, all right. And then 14 minutes and 10 seconds was the runtime the for this. For, was Yeah, this was the length of this episode. Okay. And so, with that being the time differences of total runtime, total runtime versus show time, that's how much is left. That's that's the L. That's the L that we're getting <laughs> for you got duped out of that much time. L. Uh, when? Show and, and total. total. All right. So this was a shorter episode, but it was more episode for the total runtime. Per run. Okay. Yeah. So it had less time as a loss and it was a shorter thing and it filled a lot of it. I okay. don't feel like running the number for that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could. I have the calculator right here. But yeah, so da 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 da. Got it. Okay. But the episode got shorter. Okay. Oh, I should mention like a really big plus for me was the fact that it was one of those like when they uh they said Jin's name and everything just froze in time. That was cool. That was really, really cool. I wouldn't expect it. So I was just floored. Uh, I'll give it a single cool. No, no really cools. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. It gets a single cool for me. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do more math. Okay. I thought you were going to put your rating versus my rating. <laughs> oh, my rating is, uh, again, a seven. A seven? All yeah. right. It did a really good job of setting up the next episode. Yes. Um, It had a bit that I would have preferred be in the first episode. Sure. And it had fucking Cinder come back, so it lost a lot of points for that. <laughs> <laughs> Boo, we hate Cinder. She should be dead. It's not that I don't like her. It's that it was given that she died. There's, I, there's no workaround for that, yeah. in my opinion. Especially what they showed was the workaround, which was it was a very small fall into water. Right. I just felt like the way that she went out in Volume 5, I was like, there's no way they would just leave it like that. Especially where like people wouldn't just start speculating, is she alive? Is she dead? Like if they want a character to die in this show, they show it. I or know. or I guess they imply it with like or actually I was thinking the same thing about uh, one of those dudes who got thrown off the the train. I was thinking like, oh maybe they'll just catch up with them and be like, Hey, let's go together. No, he's dead. If they if they show him not dead, bullshit. I mean, it didn't seem like he had a very strong aura to begin with. Yeah. Well, he seemed to be a scrub. No, well, like the Grim just literally just grabbed onto him and just let him go. I didn't even see any aura, just like be damaged. <laughs> yeah, but it's being, a... being thrown from a moving train will fuck you up. Okay, because <laughs> you have to figure your your inertia is making you go just as fast as the train. Right. You are then hitting the ground and stopping. With all them rolls and tumbles, I gradually guess, slowing you down. I guess, but he's also, I mean, I guess the energy transferred from like him to the Grim if he, if we we're going to look at the kinetic energy there. Does, does it throw him backwards or throw him forward? Throw him forward. If it throws him forward, he's going even faster <laughs> than the train because the Grim was keeping up with the train and then threw him oh, yeah, faster right. than the train. So he's hitting the floor even faster. So hopefully he just found a lot of snow. <laughs> yeah, if he's lucky, he landed on powder. If he's not lucky, it's compacted snow that's been sitting for a while. Okay. And he's fucked. Keep that as, I'll keep that as a headcanon <laughs> until later notice. If he doesn't show up for the end of the volume, then he's dead. If he if he lands in powder, he's fine. If not, he's dead. If he shows up in like volume eight or something, I'll be like, bullshit. Whoops. There's no way he should have left. <laughs> I did the wrong thing. Uh, but uh, is there anything else I wanted to talk about? No, that was pretty much it. I just, I think it was pretty solid. But uh, yeah, did is this that backwards? Is this anything else that we want to cover as far as the calculations here? Um, pretty much percentage of show. Percentage, it, it, of yeah, show. It, it's 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 nothing important. Oh, okay. It's just me being an idiot some more. Okay, in that case, do you want to just end the uh, the talk here and uh, if you yeah. want. All right, we'll we'll just end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Hashtag bye, and I'll I'll figure out the ads for this later. So we can hopefully do a premiere of it without getting copyright blocked.
Anyway, see you guys next one. Hashtag bye. Oh. Huh. What? The second episode had only slightly more show than the first episode. Left hand side? Yeah. This is how much of show was episode two. This is how much was show episode one. It is one ten thousandth more show. Okay. But if that was percent, that's like what? Times. <laughs> one tenth of a percent. Oh my god. <laughs> All, All right. right. All right. Hashtag bye. Shows are consistently the same length. So we just got less shows what happened. <laughs> Boo.